What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be cutting a square layered haircut. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step. Uh, so if you have any questions, post those in the comments below. Uh, sectioning is pretty simple. It's a basic four quadrant. So we go right down the center, down center back, and then we split it at the division point right behind the ear. And then I start by taking my sections vertical in the back from occipital bone down. And I pull that straight out from the head. Now the goal with cutting a square shape is to make sure that everything comes directly out uh, and you work with a traveling guide across. So even though we're cutting vertical, when I look at this line horizontal that I'm creating, when I get done cutting the back of this head, uh, I'll see a nice horizontal square balanced line in the back of the head. So just bringing everything through, I'll take about a half inch section, pull that in. I'll take half of the hair that I cut previously as a guideline. So you'll see it coming through there. You can see that line right around my fingers. And then I bring the new hair to it and I cut it. Then I grab a little bit of that old hair, a little bit of new hair, and then keep bringing it out. Now, when I get behind the ear, this is where um, you want to make sure to keep this square. You don't want to round off the corner. You'll see how I'm showing that there. You don't want to round the corner. You want to bring everything straight back. Pretend like you're in a box, like you couldn't go over any further. Just bring it straight back and cut it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. You'll notice now my fingers are pointing up towards the sky. What that does, it allows me uh, to comb the hair towards the guideline. So I shift my hand position. So now I'm scooping the hair, pulling the new hair towards the guide. So I'll grab, make sure you get a clean guide in there, pulling it out straight, cutting the line. Okay, now you take a look at it horizontally. You see that nice balanced line happening in the back. That's how you cross check it. So if you cut it vertically, check it horizontally. Uh, if you cut it diagonal forward, you would check it diagonal back. Just do the opposite of whatever you did to cross check it, make sure your shape looks right. Now I take a little bit more hair. Notice I didn't go all the way up the section. I'm gonna cut that a little bit different. Head, the head shape curves up and away. So what I do is I just take a little bit at a time. This is coming straight back, staying in that square fashion, but I just pull everything straight back to me and cut it. Use that traveling guide as I round that corner, still bringing everything back to my body and cutting it. Okay, now I'm gonna move to the opposite side. So I'm gonna cut this section in half. You'll see right at the crown area where the head starts to round up. I, I section that off, clip it away, and I'm gonna work the top crown area a little bit different than I work this side section. So uh, just be aware of that. So let me finish off this mid section here and just keep cutting that square line, working a traveling guide all the way over to behind the ear. All right, guys, so as I finish up that side, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work into the top crown area. That's still gonna continue to be a traveling guide, but notice my elevation is much higher as I work into the crown because of the way that the head curves up and over. So what I'm really doing is mimicking a 90 degrees straight out from the head shape, but still continuing to over direct it straight back, um, parallel, creating that horizontal line, keeping this haircut nice and balanced. So really it's straight out from the head until I get to that side area, uh, which I'll do on this side as well. Um, so I work my way across traveling. So grabbing a little bit of the old, bringing it to the new, just so that I keep that guide consistent. 
uh, and I work my way across the head. And then when I get right behind the ear, that's getting over directed straight back to me uh, to keep it in that square box in the back. So see how I'm not over directing it to the center. It's just straight off of the head, uh, straight back. All right, so now we're gonna move into the side of the head. Uh, we're gonna break this into two parts. So we're gonna have a top and a bottom. I'm gonna cut it at the parietal ridge right here. And then I'm gonna section that top part away and we will work on that later. Um, our horizontal line is now gonna shift. So our fingers should be parallel to that parting. We cut our baseline and now I'm gonna elevate everything. So we cut our line and then we uh, layer it from that line up. So we're just creating layers following that horizontal line on the side of the head and just working our way all the way through to the edge. All right, so now I'll check that horizontally. So we should see a nice straight line when we pull it out. And now we're gonna work to round the head shape, um, but still continuing traveling guide all the way across the top of the head. I had somebody bring up the question the other day about uh, traveling guides and if you're pulling the guide, um, pulling the hair to a guideline, then is it actually traveling? For me, I'm grabbing half of the guide and I'm pulling the new hair back to that. Then I grab half of that guide. So that creates a traveling guide throughout the top. Um, if I was pulling it back to that exact section that I cut, then that would be a stationary guide. So it's really important to understand the difference between the two. If you want to travel across the head and you want to have a guideline, you want to cut a straight uh, line, a balanced line, then you need to grab just a tiny bit of it to use it as a guide and then grab your new hair. You don't want to grab too much new hair and then that'll create over direction and that'll mess up the shape in the end result. So I did the same thing on the left side as I did on the right. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the top as we did uh, before as well. I'm just gonna continue across. But now this is a great view of it, uh, allowing you to see how I travel. So how I take a new hair and then I cut some of that old and I bring it up to that point. And I just continue that all the way across the top of the head to create that nice balanced uh, square effect. So now I just check the balance in the front and we are ready to move on styling. The first product I'm choosing is Joyco Defy Damage Protective Shield. Uh, this guards against any thermal and UV damage. And then my second product choice is Joyful Volumizing Styler. Uh, this is gonna plump up the hair, make it nice and thick. Uh, it's a gel and cream hybrid, which I love. And it also doesn't feel sticky in the hair. So that's one of my number one things when I look at volumizing products, I don't want them to be sticky. So I work the hair, flat wrap motion, and then I go through and I iron it. Even though I want volume in this haircut, um, doesn't mean I need it to be big, right? So I wanted to plump up the hair, make it nice and full, but then I'm still smoothing it out because I wanted to assess it. I want you guys to see the shape. I want you to see how it works. And now I do a little bit of slide cutting uh, with my scissor as well. 
Remember, if you guys are looking for tools, check out freesaloneducation.com, our online shop for scissors, combs, clips, all of that. Uh, last product I'm putting in is Joico K-Pack Protect and Shine Serum. Really nice, lightweight shine serum. You can see how much shine is in the hair. Then we finish it off with a little bit of Joy Mist Medium Hold Hairspray just to give us our final result. All right, guys, so this is the deal. This is a basic haircut. This is a balanced haircut, very fundamental. Uh, take all the other videos you've ever watched on Free Salon Education. Make sure you subscribe. You can use those other tools that we teach you to create an even more customized haircut for your clients. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.